Hey, what is going on guys? And it is your boy Phoenix here today. And what I have on screen for you guys is my highest round yet and my first ever attempt on the new map, DLC 1 Sabotage, Raven the Redwoods. And before I go any further, I just want to say I'm absolutely loving this map. First time on, had a blast. Uh, the theme is great. The weapons are great. Uh, it's new and innovative. And I really did enjoy my time. Anyway, guys, so the round I got was round 53 and currently it is six in the world so i'll take that uh before i actually started the game when i did check the leaderboards the uh, highest round was like 44 so if i did do it before then i would have been first however while i was playing someone got a higher round i think the highest right now is 67 and my highest was 53 and keep in mind this was my first ever attempt and we're going to get into the strategy soon and the strategy is honestly really really simple and you don't need much for it there's a couple of cards i'd recommend you don't need pack a punch and you pretty much need three perks so there's three perks you want are juggernaut quick revive and stamina up uh they're going to be your best bet uh you see here right now i have our trailblazers on and electric cherry as well i was just experimenting here and there and i'm running around with the pistol and the pistol i would recommend getting a pistol if if you can okay guys so the best thing about the pistol is that you're going to run at 100 percent movement speed so if you guys are fortunate enough to get a pistol out of a mystery box definitely pick it up because it will help you with the strategy so right there you saw i just took my first down of the game and it was around 38 and believe it or not I actually have two downs on this same round it's absolutely ridiculous I was so mad at myself so you see I spawn back in I grab my e-ride grab my pistol back yeah cool whatever I'm running around frantically looking for jug because remember guys this is the first time I've ever played this map I did watch a little bit of uh, early DLC gameplay from like Noah J I think it was I think I tuned in for like 20 minutes of a live stream so I had an idea of where stuff was and how stuff worked and right here I'm trying to hook onto the zip line no luck I try and run to the right side of me zombies are popping up I'm like oh fuck okay maybe the zip line here will work and fortunately enough it does so I fly down the zip line right now I only have juggernaut because at once as I said before this is my first time playing the map didn't have a map layout so I quickly run back get quick revive and this is where I take my second down on round 38 I pretty much just back myself into this little room here this place is a death trap I don't know if you guys saw the opening clip when I had the uh, golf club in my hand clutched it out of there anyway so we're back self revive once again and we're going to get into the strategy really, really soon. But first of all, before we do that, I'm just going to show you how I deal with the uh, boss round, the substitute for clowns, or the Wookiees, the Yetis, whatever they are. So here they are on round 43. They spawn in it exactly like clowns do. And what I did pretty much, I let them all spawn on this side of the map, and then I run them up this tight little canal area almost. And guys, you really want to have gas grenades for this. If you guys do get gas grenades, make sure you pick them up. So this is where I'm just going to start running them up right now. And I think I turn around and just start pretty much pumping them. And this is where you want to sit. Uh, pretty easy. You hold them up there. Chuck a gas grenade. Watch the other way. Uh, probably the best spot to take these guys out from. These guys really aren't that hard either. So you shouldn't have too much of a challenge. But this is just where I went every time these guys spawned in. So max ammo as per usual. So don't be shy of the gas grenades or any of your ammo. Just like clown rounds guys. And you see I'm only using two perks here. Because I just went down a again after the second down around 38 so I just ended up pretty much running these two perks for the rest of the game so this is the actual strategy here guys so this trap what I'm running to right now is fucking OP it is ridiculous I think it can get up to anything like 60 to 70 kills per use and it recharges roughly around every 45 seconds or so and if you guys were running wondering why is uh, traveling so quick through the uh, water it's because you actually slide and you don't slow down or anything and you keep all your momentum guys so as you saw just there before I chucked the gas grenade on the stairs once I hold them up and then I run back to this trap so quick recap what you want to do you want to hold them up get them to that trap okay run them again hold them back up gas grenade on those stairs then run back to the trap and you'll be good to go 
Uh, would I recommend for this for Fate and Fortune cards? Definitely Nade Party and Eagle Eye if you guys have it because the uh, KBS Longbow is uh, just a little bit further up and if you pick that up and activate Eagle Eye it's a one shot to like round 80. So if you need a quick escape from something or you need to kill a couple of zombies really quick. See I think it will show it right here actually. So watch this. Round 53 and gone one shot with the Longbow. Absolutely insane. Eagle Eye is actually really good guys. Give it a go. Uh, I'm definitely going to go for a higher round attempt soon. Uh, as I said, once again, uh, this was my first ever attempt on Raven Red Redwoods. Uh, I think I've done a fantastic job, guys. And this is actually where I down, I believe. No, no, it's not where I down. Uh, it's up a little bit further. But yeah, this is the strategy. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you guys are new around here, click that red shiny subscribe button. And as always, have a marvelous day.